Hello, Kath again here. We're going to do some cool down stretches now. So this is your cool down program for after you've been exercising. So we start with the uh, legs quite wide, clasp the hands behind you, clasp the fingers, stretch the hands down, soften the knees, bend forwards and breathe, keeping the legs as straight as you can so we can stretch into the hamstrings, release the shoulders, allow the neck to be free, breathe deeply, enjoy that full body stretch, release any tightness, lengthen in the muscles, that's great. And then release the hands down, bring the feet a little bit closer, bend the knees and then uncurl up. Lovely. Okay. We're going to move into the hamstrings and the Achilles tendons. So we're going to use a chair for this, just to make the stretch a little bit easier. So, um, stand in front of your chair, so you're about half a leg's length in front of the seat of the chair. And we're going to bring the hands onto the back of the chair, so the back is fairly straight, feet are hip width apart, and your head is in line with your arms. And again, breathe. Adjust your distance from the chair if you can't feel a stretch down the hamstrings. This is also stretching into the whole of the spine. So nice deep breaths here to feel that stretch. If you want a stronger stretch, bring the hands down to the base of the chair, the seat of the chair. Maybe moving the feet back. Going to come out of the stretch, walking forwards. So, and uncurling up. So that's a, an alternative hamstring stretch. I'm going to use the chair again in a minute, but first of all, we'll release into those Achilles tendons a little bit more. So, feet about hip width, stepping forwards onto the heel of the right foot, bend the left knee and then bend forwards from the hips, smiling at your kneecap, okay, and breathe, five, four, three, two, one, and curl, and do the other side, lifting the toes of the opposite foot, five, four, Three, two, one. We'll repeat that once more each side for about another 10 seconds. Okay, looking down at the kneecap. Five, four, three, two, one. And curling. And the opposite foot. Lovely. I'll just move around so you can see. Five, four, three, two, one. And then uncurling. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to use the chair once more. You can use a wall as well um, for support um, if you need it. And we're going to come into a side stretch, opening up the sides of the spine as well as the insides of the legs. So feet quite wide, the um, right foot turned out 90 degrees, left foot where it is. Gently bend the right knee and either hold it onto the chair or keeping your hand on the thigh, lift the left arm up for a nice diagonal stretch. Breathe in deeply. 
Now you can take this a little bit stronger if you want to by bringing the forearm down onto the thigh or the hand onto the um, seat of the chair. So if you haven't got a chair, use your forearm. Breathe deeply. And then hand on the thigh as you uncurl back up. And we'll do that to the other side. Let's move my chair out the way. So left foot turns out 90 degrees, right foot stays where it is. Bend in the left knee, left hand on the left thigh, right hand moves into our diagonal, breathe deeply. So you get a lovely opening in the sides of the body as well as the inner part of the thigh, the hip adductors. That's lovely. If you want a stronger stretch, bring the forearm down or holding onto your chair. Lovely. And breathe. Feel that warmth, that ease spreading through the sides of the body. Hand on the thigh to gently bring yourself back up. That's great. Okay. So our next stretch is focusing on the calf muscles. They've been working really hard, probably, if you've been doing some exercise. So we're going to um, step back with the right leg and bend the left knee. So make sure with the knees above the ankle, don't want to strain the leg. And we're going to leave the upper body nice and straight so you get a good stretch into the back calf muscle. That's lovely. Breathe in deeply. And we're going to add some arm movements. So breathe in as you stretch up. Breathe out as you lower the arms. Lovely. And again, breathing in. Breathing out. Once more. Beautiful. Okay. Bring that foot forward. Step back with the left foot. Find your alignment with the right knee. And again, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, lifting the arms. Breathing out. Breathing in. Feeling that stretch into the lower back, breathing out and then releasing. Lovely. So a little bit more deeply into the calf muscle now. We're just going to step back um, about a foot length. So stepping back with your left foot first. Feet are parallel, about hip width. And we're going to bend both knees. So I'll show you it from the front so you can see. So bending both knees this time. Heels are down on the mat and you'll feel this in the back calf muscle. And breathe. Okay. That's lovely. So we're going to count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then release. Step back with the other foot. Again, about one foot length. And then nice and upright with the torso. Bend both knees. So you get a lovely stretch deep into the soleus of the back leg. That's beautiful. Lovely. Remember to breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
and then release. Lovely. Let's move a little bit more into the spine with some twisting. So feet are about um, just over hip width, about shoulder width apart. Bending the knees with the hands on the thighs. Okay. We're going to bring the right um, shoulder into the midpoint and turn the head to look over the left side. And then the left shoulder forwards as you turn to look over the right. Breathe in, breathe out as you twist. Breathe in, breathe out as you twist. So this is called the sumo stretch. You twist in, thankfully without the clothing. Okay, of the sumo. Great for getting into the middle part of the spine. Lovely. And then to release the spine a bit more, straightening the legs gently, relax the arms, relax the head, take hold of the elbows. Right elbow to the midpoint as you breathe in. As you breathe out, stretch that elbow down to the floor and then the left side. Releasing into the lats and the lower back. Once more with the left. And release the hands, soften the knees, gently uncurl. Okay. So we've got a few more movements to do. We're just going to uh, sneak in a standing cat while we're here. So the legs stay where they are. Hands in the same position as the sumo. And I'll stand sideways so you can see. And we're basically going to move the spine in a wave. So lifting the chest and head to look forwards, breathing in, and then tucking the tailbone under the abdomen, and then head comes down as you breathe out. Breathing in, looking forwards, tucking the abdomen in, rolling down as you breathe out. Easing out the whole of the back. For more stretches. And then easing, uncurling back up. The last three stretches are going to be done lying down. So have a towel or a blanket or a mat or something comfortable that you can lie down on. You may need a pillow for your head or a folded blanket, nothing too big. And I'm going to use a block uh, option for the first stretch as well. So we're going to stretch into the piriformis muscle. So this is a muscle deep in the glute. So lying down, feet at hip width apart, bring the right ankle onto the left thigh and um, if you do want to use a block or a book or something then that can be good underneath the left foot to ease into the stretch if that's enough of a stretch for you um, then stay there if you're able to lift the left foot up a bit more then enjoy that stretch and then if you're able to place the hands around the left thigh that gives you a little bit more stretching into the opposite glute muscle you can also use a sock or a strap around the left leg as well or hold on to your trousers 
maybe it's tricky to get the hands round the back. So breathing deeply here, feeling the stretch in the right glute muscle. Five, four, three, two, one, and then release. Okay, so we'll do the other side, taking the left ankle to the right thigh, and then either lifting the right foot onto a block, lifting it a little bit more, or holding the right thigh with the hands, using a strap or a sock around the right thigh. So pushing the left knee away from you for a stronger stretch, feel that stretch deep in the left glute, the left buttock. Breathe deeply. Remember the deeper you breathe, the more the muscle will lengthen and ease out. Five, four, three, two, one, and release down. Lovely. Okay, we're going to move into a um, sore stretch. So stay in the same position. Uh, extend um, both legs out, so both legs are straight, and then bend the right knee. Bring it towards your chest hands around the right shin and then draw that knee down towards you. Again, breathing deeply, although it's slightly constricted, your breath will do the work for you. Your breath will help the muscles to lengthen and stretch out. Three more deep breaths here. So we're stretching the psoas muscle, big muscle that goes round the hip, the top of the leg, into the lower back. Very important for back health. And when you finish the third breath, lengthening the right leg out, bringing the left knee in, hands around the left shin, Drawing that knee down towards you, breathing deeply. Three more deep breaths here. Ease and stretch into that left hip. Feel the warmth in the lower back as the whole of the psoas muscle gets a lovely stretch. Lovely. And when you finish three deep breaths there, bring um, the feet back with the knees bent. So we're going to move into a lying down twist um, and to ease this we're going to uh, straighten the left leg first and move both hips to the right. Bring the right knee towards you, take hold of the right knee with the left hand and then take that knee across the body as you turn the head in the opposite direction to look away. So the knee and the head moving the opposite way, breathing deeply, enjoying that twist through the whole spine, easing the neck, easing the chest, the pecs, Easing the hips, the lower back. Three more deep breaths here. Uh, 
and then gently bringing yourself back to the midline, aligning your hips again with your feet and knees and then extending the right leg, bring the left knee towards you, take hold of the left knee with the right hand, take it over to the right and you can extend the left arm out as you turn the head to look towards it. Enjoying that deep, full breath. The breath helping to ease and release any remaining tension in the spine. Three more deep breaths. And then easing yourself back. You may want to give yourself a little hug, maybe rocking from side to side before you roll over and gently push yourself back up. Thank you very much for sharing this cool down.